taken out of that building is up centered right over two channels and the air blower is controlled by oxygen uh, probe. We have an oxygen and temperature probe that we monitor 24 hours a day, seven days a day. Any leachate that is generated from the material then it goes into that drain and that's kept separate from uh, any soil. <laughs> the file, secure the sides with sandbags, put the oxygen temperature probe in, and then we walk away for a month. 
Yeah. We let it sit under there for a month. Well, we had to, we, we took some uh, precautions because we were afraid of high winds. No. So we, uh, after a month, then we peel the cover off and we move it to phase two. Okay. And the reason for that is that the microorganisms can't swim or fly, so so that by um, uh, moving it, we agitate the material, give them fresh food, and they continue for another two weeks under cover again. Uh -huh. And then the last two weeks is just to dry it out a little bit. Come on, back side. Yeah, see, right side. You can't see heat. See, that's true. <laughs> I'm, 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 So that's been here a month. Oh Just pulled the cover off and moved yeah. the face too. If you cut your grass and put it in a pile and leave it sit for a few yeah. days, it gets you'll, hot. You'll still know he added whatsoever. Yeah. It's all natural. Wow. Yeah. All of this data is available to the regulators so they can see that we're complying with our requirement, which was is a minimum of three days at 131. Okay. Um, and we're doing 30 days at 131. So okay. it's the monitoring system um, allows us to see what's going on all the time and uh, drive the system rather than react to it. Sure. So, can I ask you, what kind of tipping fees do you, are around this area? The landfill, which is uh, right over the Christina River, is $82. $82 a ton. Oh, $82. And then right. what about, uh, so do you charge them uh, a little less than that? We charge yeah, about 50 bucks a ton. Okay. Um, you know, in Trenton, New Jersey, it's $126 a ton. Sure, sure. In uh, Philly, it's probably, near city, $95 a ton. Okay. So that but then once this is filled, he'll bring, he'll cover this up, he'll secure it for another two weeks. And then the final couple of weeks is out here. The last final two weeks, maybe three weeks, and then we'll screen all this crap out of it. I bet it would be good if the plastic wasn't in there, wouldn't it? Well, that would be <laughs> ideal, but you know, that's unrealistic because yeah. uh, it's ubiquitous in our... Uh, how long do your covers last, Nelson? Are they? Um, they last upwards of eight or nine years. What's your biggest expense? The biggest expense is labor. Ah, labor, okay. And you employ how many people at this site? Uh, we've got a dozen people here right now. Okay. Nelson, is, 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 we heard it from the guys at Cedar Grove that they were going to put in dry fermentation as yeah. a pre-treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Is that wise, or is that just something that people? Well, they're do doing it out there because they were uh, uh, essentially pressured by the city of Seattle to do it. I see. But the economics of that really don't work. Wouldn't be something you would do here. This seems like uh, it makes no sense economically. Okay, so this is the initial screening. Uh, this is on a five-eight screen. So the first screen is five-eight. 